What's up guys, welcome to Canon Danny studio. That's our best studio <laughs> that we can get. We are now in the forest and um, we are today uh, training some uh, downhills. Now, as you can see, we've got some really, really nice path, nice uh, handbrake, right? Uh, and we're gonna be doing those downhills uh, for a couple of times. Uh, I'd like to show you and, and talk about three tips that are super important while we are going down the hill. Uh, but before I do that, uh, I'd like to also uh, address one issue. Uh, going fast down the hill does not mean uh, like breaking our, our fear uh, barriers. The fear is uh, just in us, in our mind, and it tells us stop, this is the limit of your uh, technical skills. So especially during competition, during race, you, we should not go over our, our fear. That's my philosophy and that will really keep you safe. We can be uh, going over those borders of our fear uh, during training, uh, like right now, but then we are just going uh, much, much um, slower and in more safe environment and we are not as uh, tired. Uh, so this is really, really uh, important issue. We want to be really safe, even going fast. Uh, tip number one is we should be scanning uh, the area uh, in front of us. It doesn't mean that we just look down there, that's where, we want, where, where we're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna be scanning all what's just ahead of our uh, front wheel. Uh, what, can, what can surprise us? Uh, as you can see, uh, this, uh, all this here is uh, quite loose. Uh, so the ground, the ground uh, is quite maybe slippery and loose. Uh, but the worst things that we can just uh, hit with our front wheel is, um, for example, this one here. All those obstacles that are um, on just slight angle to our um, to our um, riding uh, course or riding direction are very very dangerous for the front wheel because they will just scoop up our wheel and then we lose, um, we lose our balance. So that would be the first one. The next one would be quite, quite big um, rocks, which are also loose. When we hit it with the front wheel, they will just uh, you know, jump off and the front wheel can also uh, dance in the front. Uh, that's the, the, the next one I'm gonna be avoiding. And the next one is down there. So. Uh, of course, we are not just looking just in front of our front wheel because we're gonna be really speeding down the hill. Uh, but I'm looking like maybe 20 meters ahead of me, depends on the speed. But still, I'm focusing on the area here. So I will see this rock. Uh, I will see, for example, that this little bush has these thorns. I can see those uh, thorns when I'm riding and I will avoid going over those during race, even now during my training. So scanning everything is super important. The second one is relaxing our neck and shoulders. Many riders, uh, even not just those uh, newbies, uh, they think that they should just grab the handlebar and <laughs> just hold to it really, really firmly because we are going down the hill, there's lots of vibration and that's wrong. You know why? If you've got a lockout on your, on your uh, front suspension, uh, have you ever uh, forgotten to, to uh, uh, open it before going down the hill? I did and many of us, if not all, did forget to uh, unlock the, the, the front suspension uh, before going down the hill and that means uh, really terrible downhill. It's same with our, with our neck and shoulder because look, my arms have huge amount of travel, much more than any uh, downhill uh, fork, suspension fork. Uh, and one important thing, this fork here is connected to my brain, which is connected to my eyes. So what I see in front of me, I can just, um, you know, I can just um, react ahead of what's, uh, what's going to be happening. So we should be really relaxed in necks and my arms and shoulders so that we will be able to, to really absorb those uh, bumps. 
um, especially those who are focusing so much on braking as you can see I've got some vintage old school V brakes but I do go downhill fast because you know it's not the the kind of brake type of brakes we have but in the skills actually so uh, we should not hold on to the handlebar and those brakes lever tightly we don't have to we don't need to even with with the braking power of my V brakes which is just enough in my opinion so scanning all the area ahead of us relaxing neck and shoulder if uh, if you're not aware that you are really tightened like this it's good when somebody is filming you while you're riding down the hill or one of your buddies would have a camera on the on on his back it's really good uh, idea and also when you go down try to do some stretching and then you can see how tight you are in all those muscles here uh, then you will just realize you should be relaxing more so scanning relaxing and the third one is switching uh, our uh, the center of our uh, weight to the back was i Uh, it will also depend on how steep the downhill is and how fast you go but if we are going just a bit um, uh, backwards um, you will really feel that you are much more stable when something's yeah, like maybe even <laughs> something really goes uh, in between your spokes and tries to stop your wheel the further back you are that's extreme uh, of course the further back you are the more stable uh, you you just uh, get with your bike on a downhill so now i'm gonna just uh, go down the hill uh, kind of slowly and and you will see all these um, obstacles uh, i'm trying to uh, to avoid and then we'll go also once quite quickly and one more thing is also that uh, if you're planning to do such training session like technical skills you don't want to be planning it on like uh, recovery ride day or uh, off the day off the bike because this is gonna be hard going down the hill is hard but also I have to go up like five times or maybe ten times and it, it will be really hard training session not only um, in terms of my technical skills but also strength of my legs so let's go down now scan in the front of me and relax shoulder switching weight to the back it is really bumpy here I see all those routes I want to really avoid going from like this one and this one here super bumpy and even more routes here some rocks and stick down here so that's it really like a 30 seconds of downhill and so much of a training on the uphills so be prepared for that it's really great fun and we are gaining those skills for cross-country racing and some MTB marathons thanks for watching guys bye bye